Fresno County Sheriff Margaret Mims is set to retire next week after leading the department for the past 16 years. Action News anchor Dahlia Wrong sat down with Sheriff Mims as she looked back at her 42 years in law enforcement. It's a story you'll only see on Action News. Each photo in the hallway tells a story. Those who have led the department, those who have lost their lives in the line of duty. You know, as I reflect back, the, these are full of history. It's Margaret Mims for Sheriff Headquarters. Margaret Mims made history when she was elected Fresno County's first female sheriff in 2006. May I now present to you our new sheriff, Margaret Mims. I did know people were watching though. And that was important to me that the message I hope that got out is anything is possible. Mims used her grandmother's Bible to take the oath. Bible wow. that's over 100 years old. Sheriff Mims has been boxing up everything from her 16 buckles from the State Sheriff's Association to books. But she'll leave this book of government bill to incoming Sheriff John Zanoni. It dates back to 1883 and even shows what then Sheriff Michael Donahue made. The sheriff needs $6,000. The new year will bring a life of leisure, travel, and more time to spend with the grandkids. Looking very forward to, first of all, decompressing. You can imagine what this job and career is like when for decades you're working 24-7. Some of the memories are not happy ones. The worst thing I've ever done as sheriff is have to tell wives that make the notification that their husbands had been killed in the line of duty and they weren't coming home. Mims' career began in 1980 when she was sworn into the Kerman Police Department by her father. When I started in Kerman, I was green as a gourd. Three years later, she joined the Fresno County Sheriff's Office and rapidly rose up the ranks. Sheriff Mims has taken her concerns over immigration reform and sanctuary state status to the top. She met with both President Obama and President Trump, all while winning four terms in office. And that's humbling, and I had to be worthy of that. I had to work hard every day to be worthy of that. Mims also made sure deputies join for the right reason. Most in your mind, you have to remember your job is not to look bitching in a uniform, it's to serve the public. The sheriff also believed improving literacy can help reduce crime. The reading posse is a big deal to me. I'm a reader and I love to read. I cannot imagine a home with children not having books available. On January 2nd, Assistant Sheriff John Zanoni will be sworn into office and replace Sheriff Mims. It will be difficult to walk out of this office for the last time, out of this building for the last time. Dale Yurong, ABC 30 Action News. Wishing her a very happy retirement.